Hi, my name is Allison, and today we're going to go over uh, setting up Autopilot and getting started to quilt. So first thing you're going to do when you start your Autopilot system is hit Enter. And you're always going to see this warning pop up. You should have your white box turned on and powered on already. You should have your machine head already turned on. And we're going to click Yes. Now this takes just a moment to connect back with the uh, computer that controls the belts and you'll notice that when it does finish your sew zone box is going to disappear there. So now we're going to set up our quilt to quilt. Right now you should have your quilt already loaded onto your leaders. Your backing is going to be about four to six inches wider than your quilt top and you're going to center the quilt top on the backing. So let's talk first about your settings. Uh, you're going to go into quilt size. This quilt is 90 by 90. It's already in there. If you click in the box, a little dialog pops up that you can enter in the size. Then click accept. Next, we're going to create our sew zone. So even though our buttons disappeared, we can go back down to the left corner here. And you'll notice that this is still flashing to tell us that we need to make a sew zone before we can sew anything. So click the sew zone button. And you're going to take your sew head. And you're going to go all the way as far over on the backing as you can. So you want to give yourself a little bit of space to work. And it's okay if you're doing edge to edge if your stitches come off the edge of the, of the quilt top and onto the backing. So go ahead and put your machine head as far back into the right as it will go. And click done. Then you're going to bring it as far left into the front as it will go. And again, you're going as far over on your backing as you can to make that square. So now let's click full view and see where we are. So the blue box now represents my backing fabric and the red box represents my top. Now this is a fairly large quilt. The top is 90 inches and my backing is 106. So I have eight inches of extra backing on either side. And that's so that your clamps have something to grab a hold on and you're not sewing completely through everything at once. You need a little extra to grab onto. Then your batting can come out beyond your quilt top as well. So now that we know where our backing is, we need to tell the quilt, tell the machine where the quilt sits on that backing. So you're gonna take your sew head and you're going to put it on the top left corner of your quilt. And you'll see my red X here. Click the zoom button so you can kind of see what's going on. So my red crosshairs right there that are moving, that's my sew head. I'm putting that on the very corner of my quilt top. Now I'm going to hit this reposition icon up here in the corner. I'm going to click Align Quilt to Grid. I'm going to pick the corner of the quilt on the computer and then click Align to Quilt and Accept. Now it has moved my actual computer quilt to where the quilt is in reality on the backing. And now you're ready to pick a pattern and get started sewing. 